If you are enjoying driving your car along the countryside, then it is time to go to Manohara View Terrace. Let's go! I arrived in Nanohana uh, view terrace. It's a beautiful spot to see the skyline, the city skyline again. And it's very cool. If you're bored of hot Japanese days, because the weather is typically humid and hot in summers, you can come here to catch a full, fresh, natural, non-humid uh, breath. It's a beautiful spot to um, do some recreational activities such as picnic or I don't know, landscape viewing, it's a, it's a brilliant spot. I also like this place uh, as it is a great path to drive on the countryside. Um, when you are fed up with the highways, the city traffic, you can enjoy the paths of Nanohana uh, View Terrace because about 10 kilometers, the road is covered uh, three lines on both sides. And it's really beautiful to drive along the path. So it's a great opportunity to see some different things. Um, and I think I have showed the snake to you. The snake was uh, on the surface of the uh, road. Uh, you can see many different types of animals and it's a great spot to uh, see most of the Japan from a high point. Uh, you cannot drive to Fujiyama, Fujisan, because it's a kind of climbing path. However, this place, um, even, even it's not as high as Fujiyama, it's a kind of high position to see most of the city skyline and I will take you to the tower on the left hand side over there it's on the right uh, in accordance with your viewpoint you cannot see it because it's behind the tree line let's go and find out what it looks like this place is not very complicated it's only one way in and out and uh, this viewpoint the view terrace gives you the opportunity to see the most of the landscape and the scenery and everywhere is green the natural beauty of Japan is just amazing I'm not surprised at the technical uh, superiority of Japan in terms of manufacturing cameras because it's obvious that they've got beautiful landscape beautiful nature and they typically design and they naturally design the best cameras in order to capture the uh, beauty of their landscapes yeah this is the uh, view terrace it's quite high and there are um, stairs over here it's beautiful there is nothing disturbing quite a peaceful place normally in some other countries you can have the uh, anxiety or worry for like, security related things but here is quite peaceful Japan 
I've never uh, encountered with a situation that scared me really. It's a, it's a beautiful and safe country. Nanohana View Terrace. This is the place where we are now. If you go to the west of Tokyo and Yokohama area, uh, like 15 or 20 kilometers away, you will start seeing the green mountains and beautiful forests. Nanohana, Nanohana View Terrace is this. The direction where we are looking at is possibly Atsugi area. It's a, it's a good spot. On this side, we see the city and when you walk towards the other side, the other way around, you're going to look at the beautiful mountains. mesmerizing the cloud line is combining with the mountain peaks seamlessly it's just a beautiful view to look at and probably you have seen these padlocks over here um, they are known as they are known as uh, Japanese love locks lovers come here and they um, lock these padlocks in order to make their love forever forever lasting maybe a good idea to get a padlock on this terrace view terrace yeah another group of padlocks over here okay so um, from Nanohana view terrace you can enjoy this nice view, 360 degrees. One side, the beautiful city. The other side, the beautiful mountains. It's safe, no worries, child and family friendly. You're gonna be able to see one of the most sceneries in Japan from Nanohana View Terrace. There are many reasons for me to come here. The first one is the beautiful view. The second one is the fresh air. It's not humid. The third reason is, uh, it's really a good spot to have a picnic, a small picnic. You cannot fire up a barbecue, but you can enjoy your bento boxes in here. And Nanohana View Terrace is not the only spot which is really interesting in, in, in this area. You can also uh, see one of the uh, reserves with a natural spring water into this direction. If you go there, into that direction, by your car, you'll be able to see the um, natural spring reserve on the left hand side. Well, I'm, I'm also going to take you there. So from the view terrace, this is the everything that I can possibly talk about. Let's go and find out about the natural spring water now. Okay, let's go. There are a lot more to discover, of course. I mean, I showed you the Nanohana view terrace and now we are going to the natural spring water. Um, however, this doesn't restrict the beauties of this area. There are hiking paths. You can enjoy the hiking paths and um, golf clubs, some other different stuff. Cyclists are oh, very good. I saw this lady climbing up the hill, so apparently she finished her climb and now she's going back to the Tokyo-Yokohama direction. 
One of my favorite things is uh, this, driving along this beautiful countryside road. Uh, it empties my mind, it encourages me to go out to discover more. Um, one of the worst things that you could possibly do is to spend most of your time online or watching DVDs, Netflix things. Just go out everybody, I mean discover the nature, the beauty of our planet. We should not lose that connection with the planet. We should be getting involved in the nature sports, the natural beauties. In the moment that we restrict our lives, our um, existence into the boundaries of our houses and workplaces, it's going to be dangerous for our survival as a species. Yes, this is the place, the spot that I was talking about. The natural spring water over here, it's like a fountain. It's not a big deal, I know, but for me, it's, it's a kind of natural beauty. Look at that. It's beautiful. Its sound is very relaxing. When I came here for the first time, I drank a few sips and the Japanese friends told me not to drink because uh, obviously you need to boil this water before you drink. And they said this uh, thing here, the kanji characters, mean you should not drink this water. On Google Maps, there is an entry. Uh, one of the users is telling that you can drink this water and fill some water in your uh, water bottle. But actually, that's not the case. Uh, my Japanese friends recommended me not to drink any of this water because it's not processed or purified. It's a kind of health risk. However, the place is worth coming and seeing. I like water sound, the river sound. And I will show some of it to you. Now we are on a kind of a small um, stream. Maybe you are able to see that through this gap among the trees. The water is going down, flowing along the plants and then going down below this bridge. That is a kind of therapy for me. Yeah. What is more? Well, uh, the view again is great. The hilltops, the tree lines, they are just beautiful. And um, you can easily see the clouds are moving fast because you are closer to the clouds because of the height. And one more time, I would like to mention this. Uh, the weather in here, the air quality is much better than the Tokyo metropolitan area. So if you are fed up with the humid weather, you should come here. The air quality here is just amazing. Like, look at this beauty. You see the water is going through the river bed. It's just beautiful. Again, one of those fountains. Probably the, this kanji sign also telling us not to drink 
You don't have to drink anything. I mean, just washing your hand will also be relaxing. It's very cold. I cannot um, keep my hand under this water more than maybe 30 seconds. Yes, this spot is very close to the view terrace. That's about 10 more minutes. And people come here, stop by, they relax in the refreshing cool weather and then they continue their trips. See you later. Thank you very much.